Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari. And on here, we talk about various different fragrances, but we are in the midst of fragments uh, or the month of December where I'm trying to post every day. So today's topic is about to be about spicy vanillas and the fragrances I have in my collection that would fit that type. So if you are interested in spicy vanillas, stay tuned. Okay, so if you have never heard of me, right, this is the first time I ever come across your page, well, I'd like to say welcome. My name is Claudia Nari, and uh, we have a great fragrance family over here. Uh, my only request is that you subscribe. Uh, I'm on various different social media, so you can find me on each and every one of them under the name of Claudia Nari. If you are one of my fellow subscribers who just been coming through and you are enjoying what you have seen, then subscribe. Let's increase the family. We are doing amazing. I want to say I appreciate each and every one of y'all who are coming back each and every day, watching the lives. Uh, I, I don't even have any words for y'all, but thank you. But I want to get right into it. So let's hit the topic for today. All right, so let's talk about it. Spicy vanilla. Oh my God. Uh, if you want a, this note in your collection, I have some really good ones. Uh, so I'm going to start off again. There is no order to how I'm talking about them. Uh, it's not like this is my best to my least best or whatever. It's basically just as I'm grabbing them, right? So let's begin with Disco. Disco is a fragrance that I was introduced to at Glamcation, and it is by Zanel Gilly. It is, it is such a gorgeous, spicy, vanilla, lavender tea note. Like, it's so many notes in it, right? But I don't want to get too much into it. It's Disco here by Zanel Gilly, and then it's bergamot, lavender, jasmine, saffron, cardamom, tea, tobacco, amber, cedar, myrrh, patchouli, and vanilla bean. Mm, the tobacco, the tea, and the cardamom is what makes this less, like the vanilla's there. But this is such a sexy, spicy vanilla. A really good spicy vanilla. Disco. It is really gorgeous. It's his line is all about music, right? He's a DJ, so his line is somewhere dealing with music. So this was the disco. He has a couple of other ones that I'm pretty sure we're gonna talk about before uh, the ending of 2024. If I haven't already talked about a few of them, but disco was how I got into his line, and if you get it, I feel like you wouldn't be um, you would not be disappointed. This is one that everybody is talking about for good reason, right? Um, I'm not sure if everyone would put it into the category that I put it into. I just think that maybe you just need to have it in your collection. And that is Velvet Vanilla. Um, to me, Velvet Vanilla falls under spicy um, vanilla for me simply because it has that clove in it. The clove, the tuberose. Uh, the white musk, the pink pepper in it. So that's why it falls into spicy vanilla, in, in you know, in my opinion. But you're going to get pear, you're going to get angelic, you're going to get black currant, pink pepper, mandarin, clove, tuberose, jasmine, neroli, rose, vanilla, and white musk. That is what's in here. This is really, really good. Um, again, I'm not sure where folks put this at, but for me, it's under my spicy vanillas. And I think that velvet vanilla would be a beautiful gift, a wonderful gift. Whoever you give this to, you would not, they would not dislike it. Now, mind you, keep in mind, they have to like cloves and spiciness and so forth, so on. 
because uh, this is not going to be your typical sweet gourmand vanilla. It's going to lean more, when you first spray it, it's going to lean more on the spicy end. But it does dry down to this gorgeous fruity vanilla. So that's why I feel like, even if they don't like the opening of this one, they're going to love it in the dry down. And that was van uh, Velvet Vanilla. When I found this one, I I just looked up on it. Um, I tried my hardest not to blind buy fragrances, uh, but this is one I blind I blind bought. Um, I'm sitting here trying to think of who talked about this. I'm not sure who talked about this one, um, but it was one that I was influenced on YouTube to get, and I would I wasn't disappointed. And it's called 173 Candy by Michael Malou London. Uh, if I'm saying that one right, and it has, it's, it's a very uh, citrus-based opening. So you're gonna get quincin, citrus notes, right? And then it is gonna move into a more, um, a more floral aspect because you're gonna get jasmine, uh, oddly enough, and I'm not that fond of freesia, but there is freesia in here, it's rose, and then the dry down is where it gets real, like where now I feel it's more of a spicy vanilla because it's uh, it does have the vanilla, but it's like vanilla and amber, woody notes and musk. And I think that combination for me is what takes it to uh, a more spicier, more spicier type of vanilla uh more comforting vanilla more cozy vanilla and it's called seven 173 candy um and it's their uh katorit line and i want to make sure i kind of if i can get it close enough where you can see it but it's a it's a really good one um that is not a good blind buy so i would say that uh a person has to like a citrus type opening to get into that one. That's not a good one for you to just buy and then uh, someone would fall in love with it. Um, if it's more your style, then I would get it. I have a gorgeous one from Serge Laton. And this one, oh God, I really like this one. And it's one of the ones like, I don't know why I don't wear this one more often. And why I only reach for this one in the cold season? Because I feel like I should reach for it more often. And that is Ditra Noir by Serge Laton. And it's tuberose. You have to like tuberose. It is tuberose. It's almond. It's coconut. It's helotrope, vanilla, um, amanthus, tonka bean. There's a must and a myrrh to it. Honestly, I feel I wear this one a lot with Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone uh, to enhance that Tonka bean notes and the Myrrh note. I think I kind of want more of that. So I find myself pairing those two together a lot. Um, it does have an apricot note in it, a really true apricot note. This one is so unique. Um, so you haven't got into Serge Latons. Um, I think you should get into the line. Um, I just love a fragrance with a good dark juice. And I know initially the juice in here was not this dark. It's almost purple. And I think when I first got it, it was kind of like a ambery brown. Uh, but it just has that vanilla in it has just macerated. And it's so good. Like the tonka bean, the myrrh, and the... And that, that apricot vanilla, like it's really good. And this is the Tour um, Noir by Serge Laton. Uh, this is one that a, uh, a, I got this one actually off of Macari. And uh, I was shocked when I found this one on Macari. But this is by uh, Navitas Perfumes. And... It is called Intimus. And the reason why I have it in here and I don't really have it with my Apple 
more fruity fragrances even though you can actually wear it you can wear it with um if you're reaching to get something more fruity you can wear this one there but um it's because of the pink pepper that pink pepper the gerangelum the patchouli the must the oat moss and then the vanilla and woody notes made it more spicy vanilla for me and that's where i put it but this one you can really wear even if you want to wear a fruity scent uh because the notes in it along with the ones i mentioned is also apple bergamot it's a fruity notes it's lemon it's orange lily of the valley is amber this is just sexiness in a bottle <laughs> That's what it is. So that's why I said I was shocked. I was shocked that it was so affordable on um, on Macari. Now, I do admit that it, I did get it from a man. So maybe it was affordable because he thought this was more feminine leaning because of the fruity opening, um, that apple opening to it. Maybe that's what was what it was. I don't know. But lucky me, I was able to get it. And that is Intimus by... <laughs> Navitus, my last spicy one uh but again it's one of the ones like even being the last does not mean that it's not great i i wore this one so much in 2021 and 20 you know in the past years really i wore this so much during the um pandemic that i just felt like i had to put this one to the side uh and that is um Zafar Oud Vanilla. And this is by Ale Alexandria J. Uh, so if you haven't got into this one, this whole line is good. Like if you see any of these bottles, you just need to jump on the bottles. But the notes in here is uh, coconut, is taffy, leather. Um, and surprising to me, it's a leather scent, you know, and I'm not really big on leather. It's Tonka Bean, Ylang Ylang, Woods, Clothes, Vanilla, Argyle Oud, and a, like, a beautiful musk to it. Uh, I will say that the leather and the white woods and clothes is front and center. So you do have to like that more spicy, um, uh, type scent. And I'm trying to fix the bottle. So that's what you hear me doing. Uh, that might be the only thing about the packaging that is a tad bit, uh, frustrating for me is, uh, and I'm just going to take it off. This little bar, this little piece right here never stays on. Um, and I'll fix it after I finish the video, but this is really good. Um, this is not a safe blind buy. I want to say that because of the leather note, it's not a safe blind buy, but once you get it and you like it, um, I think you will be in love. It's a gorgeous unisex fragrance. Smells beautiful on men. Very good on men. Uh, gorgeous on women. I really like this one. And it's Jafar Oud Vanilla. Um, not heavy, heavy gourmand vanilla, but it is a vanilla note. So those are my spicy vanillas. Uh, I want to hear yours. This is your chance. Tell me what is your spicy vanillas that you have in your collection one that I may need to get. Um, do you like any of the ones that I have? I'm pretty positive. I'm going to hear a lot about that Velvet Vanilla because um, a lot of people have that one. Uh, but I want to hear about more. Let's talk about more. Uh, stay tuned for more videos as we continue to go through fragments uh, and, and stay tuned each day. For all of y'all who have been tuning in, I hope that you have subscribed uh, turn on your notifications so that you're not missing these videos. You're catching me on Friday or Sunday for those lives that I am posting. But on that note, I wish you the best night, best day, whenever it was that you got to see this video. I uh, hope you are sharing it and liking it. Thumbs it up so that YouTube knows that you like what I am producing. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.